Listening Library presents Warhead, the true story of one teen who almost saved the world. This is the author, Jeff Hennigson. Oh, my dear mother, who knew I'd make it? You, of course. But to be here now, together, it's a blessing. To Monique, I'd follow you to any dance floor. Prologue One day in the spring of 1981, as I twiddled my thumbs under my desk in Mrs. Hawkins' fourth grade class while she droned on about adding and subtracting fractions, there was a familiar knock, tap a -ta tap tap on our classroom door. She went over to answer it, and framed in the background sunlight was my mom. I'd begged mom that morning, that whole week in fact, to take me out to the Mojave Desert to watch the Space Shuttle Columbia return from its maiden voyage, but she said Dad would be stuck in the office and the trip would cost my brother and me two days of school, so we'd just have to watch it on the news. All morning in class, I'd been sulking. But there was my mom, chatting with Mrs. Hawkins, who turned my way and motioned to me to come over. I stuck my tongue out at Jake McCoy, who'd been teasing me all morning about how my plan to see the shuttle land had failed. And I smiled at Chelsea Ashworth, who'd been consoling me, and then I practically skipped to the door. It was the happiest moment in my ten-year-long life so far, because I knew I'd soon be witnessing a miracle. Mom had the family camper waiting for my brother and me in the school parking lot. Ted, chubby then and two years older than me, claimed the window seat. I didn't complain. Mom wasn't in the best mood, muttering something as she pulled out about how Dad was always working, and I didn't want to push it. I wanted him to be with us, but not if he was all stressed out over a case he was working on. Mom was still talking to herself when we reached the turnoff for Highway 14, the road that would get us to Edwards Air Force Base. I'm just not going to let you boys miss history being made, she said, shaking her head. We woke up early the next morning, in the camper, parked on the desert floor. She poured us each a cup of orange juice and set a variety pack of cereals on the pull-out dining table. Are you excited? she said, looking closely at us. Ted nodded, eyes wide, as he downed his OJ. Heck yeah, I said. Mom's face broke into a smile. Good, she said. Very good. Sample complete. Ready to continue?